Hey, how's it going? Before we get into this video, NQ Stats does not provide strategy. It does not provide indicators, and it does not provide investment or financial advice. What NQ Stats does do is provide statistical edge derived from historical market performance. Nothing shown in this video should be taken as advice of any kind. This video is providing a tool that could potentially be leveraged to make a trade decision. You as the trader are responsible for how you leverage and build around it, in addition to how you enter, exit, and manage any trade you decide to take. With that said, let's get into it. All right, let's get into this first video. I took a poll on the NQ Stats X feed, and it looks like the most popular stat that everybody liked from the library was the hour stats. So this first ever video is going to be covering the hour stats. Uh, so what is the hour stats? Um, all right, to make this fair, let's go and pick a random date over the last year. Uh, that way, you know, nobody can say, hey, you cherry picked it where it worked. Uh, so let's go current today is 9 March 2025. We'll go back to 9 March 2024. We'll look for just one day through Monday through Friday. Uh, we'll get date. That's going to give us um, the 6th of March of this year. Okay, that's that's relatively recent price action. Let's, let's try again to make it a little more um, random, a little more fair. So we'll hit get date again. Uh, all right, there we go. Let's get out of this month. Let's go back a little bit, get another date, maybe something from last year. All right, there we go. Um, September 6th. So we'll take the chart, starting with a one minute chart, we'll take the chart back to September 6th. Uh, this is a Friday. All right, so boom, fast forward to a Friday. Now, here's the first hour. All right, so going into this first 8 a.m. hour, all right, NQ stats, it's based off of prior hours. So the 8 a.m. hour, um, what it's saying is, is if the 8 a.m. hour takes the 7 a.m. hour high, historically over the last 10 years, there's a 75% probability that price will trade back to the 8 a.m. open. Now, if you break that down into 20 minute segments, you'll see that the first, if that sweep happens in the first 20 minutes, there's an 89% probability that price will come back to the eight hour open. As you further progress throughout that that uh, hour, the probability reduces. And furthermore, if you scroll down, you'll see you know where the highs form and where the lows typically form. Uh, so if you get an 8 a.m. hour high sweep, 35% of the time historically, that has set the high of the bar, as well as um, the low of the bar. 35% of the time, if you look at where the lows form, 37, 36. That middle portion is not high probability other than the 9 a.m. hour. Um, look at the 9 a.m. hour. So when you look at how a candle forms and how a candle opens up, you'll typically have you know, an open and then a high and then a low and then a close, or maybe it might go open, low, high, close. Now that first, if we look at you know time-wise, something like that, right? You'll have your first 20 minutes, your second 20 minutes, and your third 20 minutes. So what it's stating is that that first 20 minutes and that last 20 minutes is typically where the highs and lows form. That middle 20 minutes, the highs and lows aren't usually forming there. That's where your expansion occurs. Um, and it makes sense from a, from a candle perspective where you have a low expansion to a high and then a close. Now, the only caveat to that is the 9 a.m. hour because we have the 930 equities open. So a lot of times what you might see with the 930 equities open is you might see something like, you know, it opens, it comes down, it trades up, and then the 930 volatility just goes bam. And then you run up, set the high and close, something like that. That happens a lot. That is why the statistic is showing that that first 20 minutes typically does not set the high or the low. That's uh, usually the middle. 20 minutes in the last 20 minutes. But getting back to the topic at hand here, uh, this 8 a.m. hour, it's not it's not an ideal hour, right? So between the open and the 7 a the 8 a.m. open and the 7 a.m. high, it's only four points. So it's not something you know you, you might be able to scalp that for four points. It's not something I would really look at uh, as, as as viable. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the next hour, go to the nine o'clock hour, see how that looks. All right, nine o'clock hour sweeps in the second segment. Even though the probability of a retrace is still 94% or uh, 
83% overall, but you're now sweeping in the second segment. So probability drops from 94 to 84 still high, but you know, you're gonna have to make a judgment whether or not you wanna trade something like that. Personally, I look for uh, first segment sweeps only. But let's take a look at this specifically since the probability of retrace is still 84%. So we come up, we take the high, and now what is the distance between the 9 a.m. open and the 8 a.m. high? It's 25 points. So that's a pretty decent amount of, of, of room. I typically like to see anything from 20 to 50 points from that open to that, that point of interest, either the high or the low. Wherever the open is, I like to see at least 20 to 50 points from that open to the low or the open to the high. Uh, that's, a, that's an ideal range that I think is provides enough room to scalp. Now, if we go from the open to the high, 25 points. If we take it to the high before the drop, that's 38 points. So anywhere from 25 to 38 points um, could potentially be something you could capture back to the open for this, this particular move. Right, but how do you trade this? Okay, well, you're responsible for your entry model. Uh, that could be any number of ways, price action, uh, further statistics on, on, you know, extensions from this level up to here, average extensions, average highs, lows, etc. cetera. Um, you could use any number of indicators. Uh, let's take a look at just basic price action concept. Uh, let's go to a 30 second chart. And this is September 6th of last year. So we're gonna take this back to September 6th of last year to the nine o'clock hour. All right, that's loaded. And this is a 50, or 30 second chart. So here we are, nine o'clock open. We'll just mark that off right there. Nine o'clock open takes the eight o'clock high. And what is the nine o'clock open price? That would be uh, this candle right here. So there's your nine o'clock open price. Uh, in this particular trade, if you use some type of 30 second inversion, it's a pretty typical entry model. Um, you know, here's a 30 second inversion. You have a gap, a gap in price, or price trades up, creates a gap, and it comes back through and closes through that gap. Um, this would have given you specifically on this trade about 13 points. Uh, now, if you wanted to get something a little more, a little more larger in terms of, of, of points captured, you could go down to a 15 second chart. Let's see what a 15 second chart uh, would have gave. So going back to September 6th, uh, over to the 9 a.m. open, let's move it there. Is the 9 a.m. open, 8 o'clock high. Mark off that high. There's your 9 o'clock. And we'll go to the 9 o'clock open right here. And again, so if we waited for the inversion of that 15 second, here it is right there. And you would come down and be able to take roughly 17 points. Uh, it's just one example of a trade that you could potentially take. If we look at the next hour, which would be the 10 o'clock hour, what does that end up looking like? Not enough room to scalp, so we'll wait for the next hour. Uh, that is some room, but it doesn't look like it would be, well, 30 points, that's good. So we come down, we sweep it. This is the 11 o'clock hour. Start from a 30 second chart or a 15 second chart. And the 11 o'clock hour comes down, it sweeps. And here's a gap you could take right here. So there's that 10 o'clock hour low. We sweep it right here. Here is your 15 second inversion for a nice quick scalp. And then going to your 11 o'clock open would be this candle right here. So there's your open. So you would enter right here. If you're using a 15 second inversion, right? Comes back, closes through the gap. There's your entry. You run it up to the current hour open and that's 30 points. So that's 30 points you could have scalped 
Um, you know, how you define your risk is up to you. How you enter is out of you. This is just a common entry model. There's 100 ways you could enter on this. Uh, but again, that's just an example of how this how this could be scalped and utilized. This could also be something you could use for um, bigger for bigger trade bias, right? You wait for a um, sweep and then you might take a scale off there and maybe you're trying to trade this all the way up to the high, right? You take that 15 second scalp, there's your scale one, um, you know, scale one. Then maybe you take another scale here, scale two at this high and maybe another scale all the way up at the top over here at this high. So that's how you use our stats. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know.